Hello everyone, I have a walkthrough on how to get the Silent But Deadly Mastery Achievement. That is, complete the first section of the Templar's Return Mission on hard difficulty without allowing Vorzen to take any damage. Okay, we're going to hop into the archives here. Okay, as you can see we're on hard difficulty and we're just going to hop straight into it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep Vorzen in the very back here. And we're mainly going to be using Alarak with the Destruction Wave and Deadly Charge abilities. So we'll use the Q hotkey here. Kill those Zerglings. Move back a little bit. And then kill these Zerglings again. And we're just going to keep on doing this. Clearing out stuff with Alarak. And only use Vorzen when we absolutely have to. So, right now I'm going to uh, deactivate Deadly Charge as well. And the reason I'm deactivating Deadly Charge is uh, just because... I don't want it to activate on units that I don't feel are worthy of Deadly Charge. So I'm mainly going to be using Deadly Charge on these Ultralists. And then uh, once Ultralists are dead, then I'll use Deadly Charge on, for example, Hydralists. I don't want to be using Deadly Charge on like Bane or Zerglings because Destruction Wave can do enough damage to those units. And the other thing you want to keep in mind is when you're using Deadly Charge, is to take a couple steps back because Deadly Charge will not activate if you're right next to an enemy opponent. We'll call Vores and Torn now. So yeah, if see it, Alarak intercepts target enemy unit and strikes it for 200 damage. So it's an intercept move. You have to actually intercept the enemy. If you're already in melee combat, you're not intercepting. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're using Deadly Charge. And if you're wondering why it's not activating, it's because you're right next to the opponent. Okay. So we're going to use Shadow Dash to get across this gap, and then we're just going to avoid these Zerglings. I'm actually going to deactivate Shadow Fury right now. Yeah, we're going to avoid these Zerglings, and the best part is you can literally just Shadow Dash from right here to right here, and you don't have to worry about any detection. You don't have to go past this whole spot. You can avoid all these guys. We're just going to hold, and then Shadow Dash to right there. You can completely avoid getting detected right there. Okay, then we're going to move Wars in here. And then we're going to move Vorzen back hey, over here and just keep her there for now. And then we're going to move Alarak in again. Okay, we'll use Destruction Wave, use a Deadly Charge on that Ultralisk. We're going to move back. Zergling's going to try and surround us, but we'll use Destruction Wave again. Another Deadly Charge and another Destruction Wave here. Should kill the rest of those units. Yep, and then we're going to finish off this Overseer and a Spine Crawler. And we're not going to use Vorzen for this part in the Brutal walkthrough. I use Vorzen to clear out these areas once I kill the Overseers, but Alarak is definitely strong enough to be able to clear this all, all out on his own on hard difficulty. Okay, take those guys out and use Deadly Charge here. Okay, we're going to take out this Nidus Worm. Got one down. Don't have to worry about the Spine Crawlers. We have to kill these Nidus Worms though because they will... They will continue to spawn more and more units if you don't take them out. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, use Destruction Wave quick to kill those Banelings. And then use another Deadly Charge. Finished off that Ninus Worm. And then we're going to keep on pushing forward with Alarak here. And uh, yeah, kiting is extremely important here. Make sure to consistently kite. If you don't kite, you will likely die when you're using Alarak. Especially uh, when you get a bunch of Banelings and Zerglings surrounding you, that's when you can die. But yeah, every single time you kill an opponent, you gain health points back, so you just gotta keep that in mind. And what I'm doing right now is really important. I'm not kiting back too far, but I'm just kind of kiting side to side, because I want to make sure that I am consistently moving towards these Ninus Worms and not moving away, because if you just keep on running away, these Nidus Worms are just going to keep on replenishing units. So you do need to continuously move forward. Just like inch by inch if that's what it takes. But yeah, moving forward is very important. Okay, so we've got all of this cleared out here. We're going to use another Destruction Wave again. Okay, a couple more units here. I'll just finish these guys off. Okay, and we'll kill this Overseer. And now we can move Vores in forward. What is your will? Speak. Okay, got Alarak here again. As and this part, desire. you are going to use Vorzin to Shadow Dash right across this little gap right here. And then there's going to be a bunch of Overseers and Mulus. So we're just going to be... You can do this really well, you just have to 
uh, do shadow dash in the right areas at the right time. So we're going to move right, right to here. We're going to wait for this overseer to move. And I'm using, yeah, no, actually never mind about what I was about to say. I was going to say use the hold command, but yeah, there's no ground units here, so you don't actually have to use the hold command. Anyways, okay, so we got in here, we wait for this overseer right here to move. You're going to move over here, you're going to shadow dash to right here. And then you're just going to wait for a second until, uh, well, I guess 10 seconds until shadow dash is ready again. You're going to jump over here, and it's really important that you move up and over and then down to right here. And then shadow dash to right there. And then you're going to have to wait one more time. You can squeeze in right down to there. You won't get detected. And you can shadow dash the last time. And you made it through. There. No detection, no hits. Next door is open. Okay, now what we're going to do is move boards in all the way back here. Just in case any of these mutilists come over, I don't want their bounce attacks to accidentally strike boards in. So we're just going to keep boards in, in the very back once again. See how these mutilists come over here? So yeah, we're just... We're going to keep Vorzin in the back, because Mulus do have attacks that bounce, and we'll just avoid that from happening. Okay, we're going to kill these uh, Mulus here. I'll kill this Overseer while we're at it. Okay, all that's dead now. And this part, you're going to have to do what I was doing earlier, where you just kind of micro forward into these guys, or micro side to side, and just consistently try to stick... Uh, Keep on attacking these guys. That got a little close right there, but yeah, you do wanna you do wanna consistently move forward and attack these swarm hosts. Otherwise, it's just endless waves. You won't be able to finish them off, so you just gotta keep that in mind. Consistently moving forward is very important here. Oh. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to move Borazin in the back here, and we're going to be using Destruction Wave and Deadly Charge with Alarak, and it's really important that when you're using Deadly Charge, that you, if you're going to use it, you got to make sure you're at least a couple steps away from your opponent, because Deadly Charge won't activate if you're already in melee combat with someone, because it's an intercepting ability, and I was curious right when I started playing with Alarak why Deadly Charge wasn't working. Well, it's because I was already melee combat with like these Ultralists or Hydralists. So yeah, just be a couple steps back and then you can use it, if you're wondering why it's not working. And then I'm also going to take this off of auto-casting because I want to sp uh, select like the Ultralist or Hydralist that I'm going to use it on. I don't want it to auto-attack Zerglings or Banelings. Okay, I'm going to use Destruction Wave. I'm going to step back a couple times here, do a little kiting, and use Destruction Wave again. Okay, we'll Deadly Charge this Ultralisk. Move back, use a destruction wave, do a little more kiting, and then use another destruction wave and deadly charge, and then we'll kill this overseer off. Get rid of that detection, we're gonna move Borzin forward while we're at it. Okay, finish off the overseer. Okay, and then I'm gonna take auto casting off of Shadow Fury, and then we're gonna use Shadow Dash to right there. And then the best part is, right here, it's this little spot. You don't even have to go right down through here. You can just literally just shadow dash to this spot right here. I'm going to use hold command, make sure Vorzin doesn't actually attack these units here. And then I'm going to shadow dash right across there. And then we're going to go into the blue zone. Okay, and I'm going to move Vorzin back here because I don't want any units to attack her. And then I'm going to move Alarak forward again. Okay, I'm going to deadly charge this Ultralisk, and then destruction wave the roaches as well. Okay, we're going to destruction wave again, kill those Zerglings so we don't get surrounded. Kite away from that Bane lane, use another destruction wave, and a deadly charge on this Ultralisk. And another destruction wave, there we go. Okay, we'll finish off these spine crawlers. And then in the brutal difficulty walkthrough I showed you guys, I didn't use Alarak to clear out this whole area here. I killed the Overseers on the Brutal Difficulty video, and then I used Vorzin to clear out these Ninus Worms. But I don't even want a chance Vorzin getting hit, so I'm just literally going to use Alarak for this whole area. <clears throat> and Alarak is definitely strong enough to clear out this whole area by himself, so all you have to do is just kill these Ninus Worms. You don't have to worry about these Spine Crawlers here. And you just got to keep on moving. The longer you wait to keep on killing these units, the more time these Ninus Worms have to keep on spewing out more units. Now I'm going to move back here because of those Bane Lanes, use Destruction Wave on them, and then a Deadly Charge to kill off that Ninus Worm. 
Okay, use another deadly charge here. And then destruction wave. Okay. Okay, we'll finish up these units. Alright, now I'm going to start moving forward again. Use the destruction wave. And then here we're just going to keep on trying to walk forward as much as we can. Because uh, there's three Ninus Worms here. And if you don't keep on pushing yourself forward, you won't be able to get to these Ninus Worms. It's just because so many units keep on spawning. So you really do have to keep on working your way forward here. Use Deadly Charge on the Ultralist when you can. And then once that first Ultralist is dead... Actually, I don't even think there's two Ultralists on hard difficulty. Yeah, there's not two Ultras here. There's only one. But yeah, so basically once that Ultralist is dead, then you move in here and you start using Deadly Charge on the Ninus Worms. Finish them all off as soon as you can. And then we'll just clear out whatever other units are out over here, camping around. Okay, we got that killed. Use another Deadly Charge on this guy. And then we'll finish off this Overseer. I'm going to move Wars in forward now. Okay. So this part is pretty easy too. You just have to know when to use Shadow Dash and when not to use Shadow Dash. So <laughs> you don't actually have to use your Hold Command like you did over here because there are no ground units in this little area. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, you can use a Hold Command though if you select somewhere and you don't want to select there. Hold Command will instantly stop Boris in wherever she is. So yeah, I mean, you still can find benefits using the Hold Command. Okay, we're going to sneak right into here. And I'm, I'm going to use the hold command there, just so Vorzin stays put where I want her to stay put. Then we're going to hold command right here. But yeah, like I said, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's not as important as that other air. Okay, then we're going to shadow dash right across to here. And then as soon as this cooldown's finished, we're going to shadow dash again and walk up over here. Okay, shadow dashing. You can literally move right around all of these overseers. Okay, and then we're going to hold... Er. Yeah, are they overseers? Uh, yeah. No, maybe. I think so. Yeah, they're overseers. What am I thinking of? Okay, and then, alright, so what I did right there is I shadow dashed right here. I waited because you can't go right through there without getting detected. Then I shadow dashed right here without getting detected. Anyways, we're in the blue zone now. Yeah, so what do Protoss have? I'm just totally blanking right now. You've got... You've got overseers, right? Yeah, over got overlords and then overseers okay yeah that is what they're called yeah protoss have some other unit that i can't think of right now but anyway we'll get vorzin back here and then like raven's detection for terran okay anyways yeah i'm, I'm keeping vorzin back here just because i don't want her to get hit once again don't want to chance it and i'm just going to kill off these mulets because mulets do have bounce attacks and i want them to actually bounce accidentally bounce an attack off of alarak and then hit her hit vorzin so yeah, I'll just finish these guys off using this Destruction Wave ability. Overseers. Observers! There we go! Protoss! Protoss has Observers. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, I was drawing such a blank. Okay, so and then this part, I'm going to kill these spine crawlers first. We'll just kind of do some chitin with these Locusts. I'll use Destruction Wave to keep on kicking them back. Once these spine crawlers are dead, I'll feel comfortable with moving in to kill these swarm hosts. But for now, I'm just going to kind of play it safe. Okay, we'll use another... Oh, just a second here. Another Destruction Wave. Okay, that Spine Crawler's finished off. Now I'm going to walk in here and start killing these Swarm Hosts. Use Deadly Charge. Jump right by some of these Locusts here. We'll kick back these Locusts here. Start killing off more of these Swarm Hosts. And use another Destruction Wave. One more Deadly Charge on this guy. And we're just going to keep on moving our way forward. Okay, I'm going to Deadly Charge this Spine Crawler. Another Destruction Wave. Move back. And use another Deadly Charge. And another destruction wave. Start killing the weak swarm host. Use a deadly charge here. And destruction wave. Okay, these guys are going down. Okay, we're going to move wars in forward now. Okay, so this part is nice and fun. <laughs> this part, you definitely can go without getting hit but uh wars and getting hits it's just a little hard um so basically all i'm trying to get at is there's going to be four overseers here and you can easily avoid the detection but there's some hydralists that are in the detected area that um definitely can hit wars and so you have to be careful not to go for those units in the detected area okay anyways we'll focus down on these zerglings for now just keep wars in out of any detectable areas Okay, I think I'm going to turn Shadow Fury on auto casting now. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, we're just going to try to keep close quarters here. Okay, I'm going to Shadow Dash use another, another one of those uh, Shadow Fury abilities. Okay, I'm going to use Shadow Dash again. Okay, we'll kill this Hydralisk because that's doing a lot of damage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so yeah, basically I just try to stay as close to Alarak as possible right there. And then I use Shadow Dash whenever Shadow Fury was just used. Try to use Shadow Dash again, then you can get two Shadow Furies right away. Because Shadow Dash, Shadow Dash instantly restores the cooldown of Shadow Fury. And yeah, there you go. That was actually not that bad of an achievement to get as long as you know how to do it the right way. And here, we'll back out of here. And go back to Archives. And I'll just go highlight over that achievement just one more time, just to look at it. Okay, yep, there you go. Silent but deadly. Complete the first section of the Templar's Return mission on hard difficulty without allowing Vorzen to take any damage. Awesome, we got it. Look at that. Two mastery achievements left. That's it. I can't believe we're that close. This is crazy. Host Busters and Creek Sea Fishing. I am super pumped to do those ones next. Okay, thank you for watching, everyone. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Leave a like if you liked the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.